here are the top five in points so far. But let's go ahead and focus on the top two guys, Nikita Kucherov and Nathan McKinnon. They put on quite a show here in the month of January, particularly in that second half, Willer, it was like Kucherov, McKinnon, blow for blow, night in and night out. It's like, hold my beer, hold my scotch. You can let it escalate from there. <laughs> well, look what he's done for Tampa. I mean, right? He needed that. The depth has kind of dipped down in Tampa. That's kind of what happens in the salary mm -hmm. cap uh, world. You cannot keep all those players there. So the burden has gotten on Kucherov a little bit. And I don't think he's really slowed down as much over the years as Connor McDavid's put up crazy numbers. Other players have hit 100 points. Lots of guys have hit 100 points. Eric Carlson last year. So he's consistently done this, but he's driving the bus for the Tampa Bay Lightning. They need him to put up points and goals, and he's doing it at a remarkable rate. Or they're not going to win, but right. I, I, I agree with you 100%. But what has really got me is I, you start watching in January, McKinnon gets four points. Then the next night, Kucherov gets four points. Then Kucherov gets three points. And then McKinnon gets four points. It's like they've got this long distance thing where they're not telling anybody yet, but I'm watching everything you do. Exactly. And I'm going to do one better the next night. And I think tug it's of great. War. Yeah. yeah, they just, and, and McKinnon's so ultra competitive and he's so fun to watch. And, and, and a novice could go and watch him play and realize that guy's different. He, he plays sort of a different game, but what he's able to do, and he, and he has a little bit of a deeper lineup, I would say, but are they that deep without him? And, and I know Kale McCarr's you know, out of this world talented and, and a generational player in defense. And, you know, I, I think Rantanen is, is that way up front as well. They'd be successful everywhere. But again, he's driving the bus in Colorado. They're not driving it. Right. Without that centerman being able exactly. to dish it to those guys. And I was saying on the show the other day, I said, listen, I've tried to think back on McKinnon on the power play. I don't think I've ever seen him stop when they drop the puck to him and he gets in the blue line, <laughs> inside the blue line and stops. Like it just never happens. And I find Brain when train. I was coaching him, yeah. you're watching him. And if you don't have the game plan and the players aren't on top of their game, like, I mean, I'm just watching him. And going, man, this guy's great. I could watch this guy all day. <laughs> He's fun to watch. You know, it's just amazing how I mean, good this guy is. Could you get stuck just enjoying and watching him as the opposition? You almost forget man. to play. You're just like, this if I'm on is the so bench, yeah. <laughs> if I'm on the penalty kill, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Go try running to after him. Take the draw on the other side. Maybe leave him over there for the other penalty killer. Or if you're matching lines and you say you're watching him tonight, do you always get the? <laughs> Go. <laughs> You're like, okay. You're telling the other centers, hey, I'm short and hard tonight. Yeah. I'm getting off. <laughs> uh, you talked about kind of the back and forth. We actually have a graph showing what took place over the course of the second half of January. Guys, it was unbelievable as we take you back to one of those games. Kucherov, Kucherov wanted a Hattie, or at least Coop wanted the Hattie for him. How cool is this? Three goals and assists in that win over Philly, but Coop made sure that his star ended up with the Hattie. And, and you know what, I think that's great when the, the player knows the coach has got your back and that he's putting you on and helping you. Like in this game, like, I mean, it was 5-3 when they when he scored in less than 30 seconds when he when he scored that third goal and he put him back out there with knowing the goal the goal was empty. I thought that was great. Like, I mean, I mean, the player, he's going off and he says, you know what, I might get crap a little bit, but I mean, I know the coach has my back when when the time comes. You know, and I think the guys on the ice know it too. Yeah. He's been there a long time. They have that core there that's gone through quite a bit together and they know what he's done for that, that mm -hmm. franchise, not even just this year, but in years past. And you want to get him that hat trick if you can. That's we would we would do it with Stammer when he was scoring all those goals. And mm -hmm. he's you know he's not he's no slouch now either. But if a guy's got two goals and there's an empty net, I think the guys on the ice there know exactly where the puck's going if like, you have a chance. Yeah, like normally, okay, if it's four three, okay, you're playing for the win, and that's good. Once right. it gets to five three, I, I want I want that guy that has two goals to have a chance to to win the game. Those accomplishments. Like I mean, I think that it's it's a rarity to get two empty net goals in the last minute. I, yeah, I, well, that's just fun for us. Like, <laughs> how about this? And we're going back to Nathan McKinnon. He has the breakaway, the two on zero with Logan so O'Connor. So happy you brought that mm. up. They both have two goals, and he dishes to his buddy for his first career NHL hat trick. I thought that spoke. And yeah, he still gets his point. Mm -hmm. It just speaks volumes of what kind of a, a cap or assistant captain, but a leader that guy is on that team. And that is the leader. That is leadership. Absolutely. Like I mean, there is not a guy on the bench that didn't acknowledge that, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and that's what makes it great. And, I, and knowing that team, 
uh, as well as I think I do is like individuals like Cogliano and mm -hmm. Josh Manson. They when I had them in Anaheim, they would they would be the first ones to say that is an unbelievable, uh, unselfish thing to do. Yeah. Let's both say hi. Let's you know congratulate him as much as Logan. I, I don't think he needs many arguments for uh, Hart Trophy, which we will talk about later on. Uh, but that is just one of many things that could mm -hmm. just push McKinnon over the line. But it will be, I'm sure, the way we're looking at that, I think it's going to be a race from these two players all the way down. They're both playing on, on really good teams. Mm -hmm. They're both going to, I'm pretty sure, I know Colorado's making the playoffs unless Tampa goes into a deep fade, and I don't think John Cooper will let that happen. Nope. They're going to make the playoffs, but these two players are going to be looking over their shoulder all season long, I and I it. think that's going to make for a great race. They have 84 and 85 points, and we just finished January. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's iron crazy. sharpens iron.